icy roads, cars sliding out of control, a police officer lucky to escape injury, and it's all caught on video. Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Nadine Woodward. A routine call turned into a frightening experience for a post hall's police, police officer. That officer's dash cam video caught what could have been a devastating collision. It's a story you saw first on our KXOI4 Twitter feed. And KXOI4's Allie Norton joins us now live at Southeast and Creative. That's where it happened. Allie, thankfully, no one's seriously hurt. That is right, Nadine. Property can be replaced, people can't. The officer involved will tell you that she she feels bad to say that she feels lucky because someone else had to get hit. But as we will see, want the car that the collision that could have happened, excuse me, would have been a lot worse. If the driver of that truck hadn't come through when they did, I'm pretty sure that Yukon would have ended up hitting me. If Officer Brenda Knight ever doubted fate, she surely believes in it now. Can I be clear of this location now and, and route two? Watching the dash cam video from her patrol car, she admits she's lucky to be back at work today. I was reading off the address to dispatch where I was going to go, and I looked up just as the vehicle parts were flying and the Yukon was coming at me. So if, I, if it had been a few seconds earlier, it would have hit me from behind while I was walking, and I, I would have never known. Lucky for many reasons. Officer Knight was at this intersection dealing with a three-car accident. You can still see in the snow where the vehicles landed after slipping on ice. She had just walked back to her patrol car and was about to leave. Suddenly, headlights appear from the eastbound lane and start heading toward her patrol car. And at the last second, a truck passes by and takes the hit. We mentioned Lucky for many reasons. You can see in the right-hand corner the tow truck driver jump out of the way. One of those scary thoughts you look at and go, man, it's a matter of timing. You, you look at, had it been two seconds sooner, uh, you could have had a, a fatality. You could have had an officer potentially injured or killed. Captain Pat Knight is especially grateful nobody was injured. Brenda Knight is not only a fellow officer, but his sister-in-law, who survived this close call. Some of these roadways these are happening on, like this, for example, the ice buildup, the ice isn't going anywhere, and it builds these ruts in the roadway that really makes it very difficult to control your vehicle. So be cautious. Officer Knight doesn't want to leave it up to fate again. We see stuff like this all the time, and I think it's just the way the world works, and I guess I'm lucky. And Officer Knight says that it wasn't really the, uh, the drivers going too fast. It sees ruts in the roadway that essentially pitch them into oncoming traffic, Nadine. Wow. Allie, we've seen some comments on Facebook from people asking why that area wasn't plowed. What does the city have to say about that? Well, Nadine, we asked if they had any plows out last night in Post Falls, and the city says that they did not. A spokesperson says that they didn't get enough snow to send anyone out last night, so they waited until this morning until people were scheduled to go and to get some of these more difficult roads. Now, even then, this area still looks like it hasn't been plowed, and they tell us that is because they can't get plows to really do much work because of all the compact snow that's already here. Reporting live in Post Falls, I'm Allie Norton, KXLY 4 News.